Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of my Minecraft survival world. So in in the last video, I filled up my lake. Uh just a second. I filled up my lake and now it's an actual uh lake now with water, which is pretty cool. And so Oh, that's basically one step forward to just getting rid of everything up here and moving it down, uh, down somewhere into my base, because that's, that's been my big goal for the past long time now. Uh, the only thing I'm not gonna move is the bee farm, because I, just moving bees is gonna be an absolute pain, uh, and I don't think it's gonna interfere with what I want anyway, so I, I'm sure it's fine. So... Uh, yeah, th this is just, this is gonna stay here, definitely. I might make some, build something around it, but, yeah, this is gonna stay. But everything else, everything else has got to go. Uh, and that includes the animals, which, uh, brings me to my point. So, in this video, I'm either gonna, uh, completely finish, or start, uh, and continue in the next video, making a animal farm room, which is gonna be pretty cool. What I want to use is wool because uh i kind of want to make kind of like a wool landscape as the walls kind kind of like a i don't know maybe like a play background that you make in minecraft you know so uh if i if i look at all the wool that i have i have a lot of full yeah yeah i have a lot i'm very glad that i made this uh, it is very very nice i don't know why there's grass in there that's a little bit weird but, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use wool, because I don't really feel like I should- I made this thing, uh, and spent so much iron on it only to never use it, so- so I'm gonna be using it, and also, I mean, I think wool's a really great, uh, block, because I- it's a- it's a colored block, it's much easier to get than concrete, especially, uh, if- if it's automatic, just like this, so I- I mean, I might as well utilize the wool. So, uh, where I'm thinking that I want to put it is just to expand the tunnel here and, uh, just make it past, past that behind that wall all the way down there. So just expand it down here because, well, there, there's farms all around this area, so it wouldn't really make sense to have kind of like the animals, uh, completely opposite of the bee farm. So that, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually, I'm also, what I'm also gonna do is turn on the music because it's a little bit loud. Uh, okay. So, what I'm gonna need to do is get a, a beacon. So, I do have quite a lot of emeralds in here, so I'll just grab these. And so, four stacks, I think that's enough. Maybe three stacks is good. So, what I'm gonna do is just dig into here a little bit. And then, until I, uh, go past the uh the other room so uh i just need to dig a little bit farther i'm gonna uh place down some torches here but uh, uh yeah i'm just gonna dig for a little bit and i'll see when i have an update ah so here's something that i was concerned about so yeah water caves they're kind of uh, I, I, I've had this issue many times before in my world. Water caves are just not good. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the big issues that I've had with, uh, mining underground and stuff is that the amount of water caves is just completely ridiculous. I don't know what to say. There's just so many, and I can't get away from them no matter what I do. So, I mean... I, I know I said that I would, uh, build in this area, but if it means that I'm gonna have to deal with water caves, I, I honestly, I'll, I'll reconsider. Because, I mean, water caves is just something that I do not want to deal with. No thank you. So, uh, I'm gonna try and make this somewhat close. I think maybe, uh, my best option would probably be to, uh, build it down here and then maybe build it somewhere. In this area, it doesn't seem like there's a water cave or anything. Well, there's water right here, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like water caves are going to be an issue. 
I honestly, I won't be surprised if it is, because, I mean, I it always somehow seems to uh, be able to annoy me, but... I'll, I'll try out this area. It, it's not like it's on the exact uh, opposite side of the lab, so that, that's nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig a little bit and see, uh, how that turns out. Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna need to get the sponges. Look, I mean, I don't have many options and... Ah! Water caves, I'm, I'm telling you, they're, they're just, they're so annoying and I do not like them one bit. Alright, so I've kind of carved out the, uh, the outline of a square here. So this, this right here will be just one big, uh, pen. So this is gonna be for cows, since I'm gonna need a lot of cows. And then, uh, it's, it's gonna be basically the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna have a little pathway in the middle. And then I'm gonna have the exact same thing on the other side. Except it's gonna be for sheep and chicken. So it's gonna be, uh, this, but separated into two different pens since uh i'm gonna need mostly cows i don't really care that much about chickens and sheep since i mean i have a sheep right here but i mean it'll be good to have a sheep anyways and chickens i mean it will also be uh good to have uh chickens as well i don't need pigs because well i mean, I mean they're only good for pork chops and i mean i don't really need pork chops if i'm just gonna get uh, steak anyways, so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna need pigs, uh, at all, um, so I'm gonna set up a beacon, and then I'm gonna get to, uh, mining, alright, so I have done quite a lot of work, as you can see, so, uh, I've dug out this area, so this elevated area in the middle here, this four block wide area, is going to be the, uh, the pathway, that uh, goes across the room here and then so on this side is going to be the cow pen and then on this side it's going to be the uh uh the sheep and chicken pen split up now how this is going to work is i'm going to place fences down under here and then i'm going to have carpets above so that i can uh, just easily fall down and then also easily get back up without the uh ru running the risk of uh, any animals escaping, and, uh, yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna keep the beacon up, uh, for just a little bit longer, because what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna build the hallway here, and then I'll probably build the, uh, the floor, place the grass in, and, uh, also build the, uh, the pathway in the middle here, so I, I'm just gonna do a little bit of building, and then I think my goal is probably going to be to finish this room for the most part. What what I am going to probably do is wait until the next video to bring the animals in. But the room, uh, I'll probably do it up until the ceiling. And then I'll do the ceiling in the next video and bring the animals in. So yeah, I've, I've got a plan.
Okay, well, I am done for now. So I have made the pathway uh, here, and I also placed down the carpet on the fences. Uh, I, I didn't get done as much as I wanted to, except I realized that uh, mud might be a good uh, block. Yeah, packed mud might be a good block to use, and I, I'm pretty happy with it, I would say. I mean, it's a little bit hard to tell since, I mean, most of, most of this isn't even built yet, but uh, I, I like it so far, but yeah, I don't really uh, have a mangrove swamp nearby, so I, I just made the mud manually, and that took quite a while, which is why I didn't get as much as I would have liked to done. So I placed down the um, some moss carpet onto the fences. So if you don't know, uh, putting carpet onto a fence makes it able so that makes it able yourself uh, able to jump onto the fence and over. Uh, animals can't do this, so it's uh, really really useful. So I I just have this so that I can just easily fall down into the animal pens to do whatever, breed them or whatever. And then I can easily jump back up and it's in mobs can't uh, uh, follow me. So in the next video, I'm just going to finish building this entire room. I did bring up the roof a block because that's where the blocks are going to be placed. I just wanted to get all the digging done so that I could just get rid of the beacon right here. Because it's, it's a little bit hard to build with a beacon right in your face. And now it is time to do my uh, daily three villagers for the library. So I'm just going to get right to that right now. And I'll see you when I have all the uh, all the villagers. Alright, so I have gotten the three villagers into the library. Uh, I don't have the books because a uh, funny story. I, I just uh, uh, thought I was recording, but... I, I just started talking to my computer without even opening up the recording software, so yeah, that's kind of funny, but, so, the enchantments that I got were, uh, a Respiration 3, a Depth Strider 3, and also Bane of Arthropods 5, so I have the Bane of Arthropods 5 book in my chest, uh, here it is, uh, the trade, um, but I don't have the Respiration or Death Strider 3 because I put them on my boots and helmet, and that was before I realized that I wasn't, uh, recording. So yeah, that's kind of, uh, a, a very dumb mistake, but hey, uh, I make a lot of those. Uh, ever everyone makes mistakes. Um, so yeah, those two, Respiration 3 and Death Strider 3, are extremely useful in Shaman's. Just look at how fast I can walk around in the water now. Very, 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 very nice. So in the next video, I'm going to be finishing off the farm room. And also, uh, so I've, I've thought about it quite a lot. And I have decided that I'm going to stop using uh, developer art. Which is what makes the uh, the textures seem like the old textures. And the reason behind that is because uh, I just... I, I feel like I've been using uh, the, the old textures for long enough. And it's kind of... I don't know. They're starting to feel a little bit less special. And, you know, I want to... To me, I want them to feel special. So... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I've been using them a little too much, because I don't really play Minecraft that much other than this world. If I'm playing Minecraft, uh, most of the time it is this world, so that means I don't use the new textures all that much anymore. So, I'm, I'm just gonna start using the new textures, because one, I, I think that most people would like that more anyways, would prefer that. Uh, and also, yeah, I just... I, I feel like I just want to stop using the old textures, not because I don't like them, but because, well, one, I, I, I think, I think I would rather start using the old textures and also, uh, kind of just, the old textures don't really feel as special anymore and I'd, I'd like them to feel special, so, uh, yeah, that, that's my reasoning behind, uh, going back to the new textures, I just think that it, probably is a good decision and yeah so 
that I'm going to do that in the episode after next episode after I finish off this room. So uh yeah, just uh enjoy enjoy the old textures uh for the last episode in the next episode. And then after that it, it's it's only going to be the new textures. I doubt I'm going to use the old textures ever again. So uh yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.